Hi Scorpios, we are getting right into your October monthly love reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please go to my website below. So overall energy we have is for this person wants to take a leap of faith with you, whether you're dating them, you're going to come across them in the month of October, or you're in a long-term relationship here. They are happy with you. They want to move forward. If you're just me and this person, you're gonna cross. You're coming, gonna gonna. You are going to come across somebody who has, who is just lost for words of how beautiful, how handsome you look, Scorpios. Here they're gonna be thrown off. Um, it's gonna cause some low self confidence here on how to get you here. It's gonna take a hit to their self esteem with the Five of Swords. And then with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it's just maximized, mesmerized by your beauty here. We have the Temperance in reverse with Sagittarius. They're Really off balance. Uh, for some of you, you're gonna just uh, have a um, hard times relationship for the month of October, but you're gonna overcome this with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups here. This is strong soulmate energy with the lovers dealing with the Gemini. Strong air sign energy. Again, I mean air sign. <laughs> Water sign energy. Strong Scorpio energy for dealing with two Scorpios, Cancer, and Pisces here. But they want a new start here. They see a victory with you. They can accomplish so many things with you that this is going to be potential for a long-term union that could potentially result in marriage here, Scorpio. So if y'all get proposed to, y'all go let me know. <laughs> All right, so let's get to clarifying here with this Knight of Wands energy here. Yeah, they love how much you care about them, how much you care about yourself, how much you comfort them and yourselves here. You know, you guys are really happy for the month of October. Strong Leo energy here. You're getting the strength to... Um, I want to say, like, speak up about how you feel, Scorpios, for the month of October. You're going through a major time moment yourselves or in the past. For some of you who are in unions or relationships that you felt taken advantage of, and this is completely different, that's going to shatter all your expectations for the month of October here. Tower, the tower is not always a bad card, yeah. Queen of Pentacles energy, just very, someone you're going to be very attracted to here with that Knight of Wands. Clarify the Five of Swords here, yeah. They, yeah, they want to come forward and give you this commitment. They see you as very beautiful and independent and very stable here with this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. But they're like, oh, they're so beautiful. Like, how do I give them this commitment? But they're going through a lesson themselves here where they have to learn to speak up on how they feel too. So you both are marrying each other here for the month of October. Clarified temperance. Yeah, they're really on balance on coming forward, but... We have judgment here. The universe is going to push them to, to come forward here. Yeah, going through bad luck, bad faith. But like I said, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune is always turning, right? So it's always it's temporary. Right now, you know, things are unbalanced. But nonetheless, we have the Six of Wands here in reverse. Like I said, the universe is going to get you through this, get your person through this to come forward here with an engagement or um, union here gonna tell you how much they love you they're gonna tell you the truth here they're facing their feelings right they're not blocked at the moment clarify the nine of cups clarify this nine of cups yeah Ooh, yeah look at that hierophant taurus energy here they don't want to walk away from you we have the nine of cups and the hierophant here guys but the two of cups showing up twice someone is getting proposed to for the month of october if they're not proposal with the ring they're just gonna propose a stronger offer a commitment a new love here yeah, some of you, this is a person that you manifested here, um, that you let your pride and ego aside with this five of swords, and you're just kind of turning your back on that and moving forward here, taking baby steps. You're creating exciting beginnings for yourself for the month of October, Scorpios. Yeah, we have the world card here. I feel like in the past, again, you had relationships that just was unbalanced here if you're dealing with the libra they know that things are unbalanced which is why the road is here they want to come in and make this work strong aries divine masculine energy here yeah this full moon and aries exposed a lot if dealing with the pisces here and they now realize what you are to them and they don't want to lose you here they're going to take a leap of faith and come towards you here we have the world and the full card all right brand new journeys here they're hopeful that they can heal this with you if you're dealing with their aquarius now we have Four major, oh, wow, five major arcanas here. Major, major transitioning here for your lovers, Scorpios. Clarify the lovers here. Yeah, they're not stuck anymore. Let me know in the comments because this person is really attracted to you. 
I feel like in the past, this person could have taken advantage of finances here. Maybe they were the breadwinner and you were just trying to get on your feet here. Now they're taking action on it. Um, and again, the justice card is in reverse. So there was a time here that things were unbalanced. You know, we have this person holding the skills. But they were giving it your attention, their attention to other people here. Yeah. They're coming out of their selfish ways. Definitely here. They're coming to work hard. I feel like they're focusing on their finances. You're focusing on your finances. You're kind of, Scorpios, I feel like you're just doing what you got to do, right? You're doing what you have to do to make ends meet. If this person comes, that's great. If they don't, they don't. But they're really serious about their love and emotions for you here. What does this four of swords have to say? Yeah, they know that's your guard is up is what I'm trying to say here. So um, they're scared that you might say some... Um, unsettling words here but they're coming in with the offer nonetheless here they're walking away from things that are no longer serving them to come towards their happiness which is you here scorpios all right so let's get some romance schedule cards for the month of october stay optimistic about your love life exactly positive thinking and faith will bring you romance love yourself first scorpios your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so that's the overall theme for october stay optimistic and treat yourself here we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so again remember i was saying with that judgment card there's some lessons learned that your person has to deal with but the overall theme is reconciliation here and someone for your past is returning from your life it's up to you to decide if you want this because they're coming in to express their love for you. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture here. So then we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life here and do what you want to do, Scorpios. I feel like it's, you do so much for other people that it's time to take care of yourselves for the month of October, all right? If you'd like to book a personal reading, please go to my website below and thank you so much.